but today before I say the next thing I want to send every leader to the place of devotion mama if you want to win the battle you are in go back to the place of devotion baba if you want to win the battles you are in go back in the place of devotion because it is the devotion that keeps you inclined to the purpose for without the purpose of God you are living a wasteful life and how am I gonna get inclined to the purpose of God is through the place of devotion someone say devotion he says unto Joshua it's all right you have been here for 40 years but I can only take three days with you to get you to the promised land if only you can find my presence through the power of my word he says unto Joshua can you tell them to prepare because the grace is too much I'm too much willing to get them out of the boring place is there anyone in this place who have been in the boring place the most boring place I came in to tell you you need the promise and you need the word of God and after the word of God you need to meditate on the word of God and do as the word says because I hear in the spirit the next two months which are the last months of the year 2023 there will be a shift I don't know what I'm talking to now I don't know what I'm talking to now God does not need the whole year to bless you I say God does not need 10 months to bless you one day is more than enough for he is eternity and I live in time so that I can cause the manifestation praise the name of God he says unto Joshua if you can find my promise which is my presence because the promise was so that they can worship me the promise is about worship and not about the land but the mistakes we have done is we are after the land we are after the property we are after the money and not the promise but God says if you find the promise I will give you the land if you find the promise I will give you the car if you find the promise I will give you the job if you find the promise I will give you the money and I will not only give you the money I will make every provision you need praise the name of God some welfare programs are coming to an end because God is getting ready to move you into a permanent miracle permanent breakthrough permanent blessing give somebody a high five tell your neighbor neighbor I found the promise I found the promise I found the promise because after the provision he moves you into the land so that you can possess it how am I going to process it how am I going to possess it he said unto Joshua the same way I was with Moses so I shall be with you when you find the promise you find everything and when you find everything you will be trusted with the shift this message is for every leader who has a mandate has the mantle has the anointing to cause the shift praise the name of God stop looking at your mother your mother is looking at you and I bless the name of God for you are now in the kingdom you cannot be in the kingdom and miss on the promise the promise I'm talking about is the presence of God when the presence of God goes 
with you. You cause the shift. Go back home. Raise your hands and worship the Lord. Ezekiah turned to the wall and said, God, the wall cannot worship you. The wall cannot exalt you. The wall cannot glorify you. He is talking about how powerful it is when we raise our hands and worship God. Before the closing of the year 2023, there will be a shift. 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 A shift to possess the land. A shift to break every cash in your life. Give somebody a high five. Hold on to your neighbor, neighbor. When you find the promise, he gets you the land. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, neighbor, it's not just about the blessing, it's about the blesser. When you get the blesser, you will get the blessing. But you can look for the blessing and miss the blessing. Because who brings the blessing is the blesser. Stop looking for miracles. Look for a miracle working God. 